Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I am so thankful to have you here for today's pink card reading. We're going to be looking at what is going on in this connection. We're going to be looking at both you and your person side of things. Um, we will be looking at each person's thoughts, feelings, and what each of you want at this current time in the relationship. This is a timeless reading, so essentially whenever you're watching this, what you each want. Um, there will be an extended reading. It's going to be slightly different for every single pile. So um, this is just for those of you that really are resonating and feel like going deeper into um, a reading. I'll have that link down below for those of you that are interested. But let's get into the pile selection. So for pile number one, we have the Light Seer Tarot with this opalite um, crystal point. For pile number two, we have the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot with this rose gold crystal point. And I try to not touch them just because I want to give you guys the view and like not block like what you're feeling honed into. But anyways, for pile number three, we have the Mystic Mondays Tarot with this amethyst crystal point. So go ahead and take whatever time you need to tune into the pile you're feeling the most drawn to. Um, you of course could be drawn to more than one pile and um, it could be because there's multiple relationships coming through for you. But in these kinds of readings, it's really nice because you should resonate with one of the sides. And that's a really great way to figure out whether or not this is a reading for you. So I would listen to that and just make sure that you are resonating with one of the sides before you listen to the whole thing. Um, I will have the timestamps linked down below. I will have the extended readings linked in the description box, 222 on the clock. Um, and I will have these decks listed and any other information about me in case you guys are curious. So other than that, I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the opalite crystal point, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at what is currently going on in this connection between you and your person. We're going to be doing this in different sections. So this is going to be, we'll have your side on the left and then your person's side on the right. And we will, the left side should be a pretty good energy check-in as to whether or not this is your reading because it's meant to represent your energy. If you guys feel like the right side is your side, that's completely okay. I would just switch the um, reading then, but I will be speaking as if you're from the left side. So I'm going to put this deck for your person's energy, and then we're going to use this one for your energy. So there will be an extended reading. I don't know what topic we're going to go into yet, but it's going to be personalized for each pile based on what comes out during the reading and what makes the most sense to go further into. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested and you feel like this really resonates with you and you guys are interested in more. But of course, I'm excited to get into the YouTube aspect. So let's start off with your energy here. Spirit, please tune me into pile number one. We're going to do thoughts, feelings, and what you want. Same with your person. So what are pile number one current thoughts about their person? What is pile number one currently thinking about? We have the Hierophant. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. We have the World in reverse. Okay, so what's coming through is an energy of feeling like, or thinking about how, oh, I have to cover this. One second. Okay, 
So when it comes to your thoughts here, it feels like you're thinking about some kind of a commitment because with the higher point here there's kind of an energy of like unfinished promises yeah with the king of pentacles in reverse three of cups six of pentacles queen of wands yeah um so i i feel like with the nine of wands in the world in reverse there's a sense of this not being over between you and this person like you thinking about how there is unfinished business or what you guys set out to create within this relationship has not come into fruition and with the nine of wands in reverse for me this can be an energy of um maybe thinking about how we'll get more specific as we go into your person's energy as well but i'm, I'm picking up kind of a vibe of you didn't we didn't fight enough either we or feeling or thinking about how this person could have tried more or even just thinking about how thinking about like what challenges the trials and tur turbulations have come into the relationship that could be in your thoughts and just kind of thinking about those in terms of what your values are for a connection um what your values are or what you feel like you and this person agreed to it doesn't have to be that far it could even just be like what you wanted from this connection but um you're just there's an energy here of thinking about how even for some of you i'm getting like this person could even be causing you to think more seriously about like what you do want in a connection because there's a feeling here of feeling like someone's given up on the connection or feeling like someone didn't follow through um, didn't bring as much value um, and not specifically value, but like determination, um, like resiliency, like dedication. I feel like there's a lack of dedication um, and you think about how that's sort of maybe what caused this to not have a successful outcome. Um, there's also could be an energy here of like feeling like maybe this person has kind of quit or or didn't fight through and so there's kind of an energy here of thinking well that sucks like or like that sucks and like I I'm not gonna fight then or like or even thinking like I'm the kind of person who will stay true to what I committed to or will stay true to like I will fight to make it work and what's literally coming through that's funny um or I just feel like this is kind of like cliche and like I've been watching love is blind like it's a guilty pleasure of mine but um a lot of the times it's like, or I mean, the whole show's premise is like getting married and, you know, they get proposed like really quickly and they start talking to people. Um, and the whole point is to figure out like, you know, if they're, if they can get married. And I feel like a lot of the conversations are like, well, um, like I'm the kind of person who's going to like stick it out. Like when things get tough, like, and there's kind of just conversations about how marriage is really about you know, are you just going to walk away when things get tough? Like, are you going to expect things to be easy? Are you like, are you who you say you are? Are you, do you have that follow through that you promised me in the pods? <laughs> um, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, but there's kind of an energy. I'm just kind of like picking up on that, like sort of vibe where it's like almost having the impression maybe that you and a person were going to have a sense of commitment or similar values or there was potential for that there but it's like with the six of pentacles in reverse the three of cups in reverse it's like this is coming through as almost like not being as mature or not being super like reliable like a king of pentacles is someone that you can definitely rely on um and like has their stuff together and is someone who you can you know isn't gonna is someone who is gonna be like a partner not not like a I'm hearing a partner, not like a child or not someone that where you have to do all the fighting or something, but it's like, and there's kind of an energy here of like, if you wanted, if you want this, like sort of, if you want something easier, like you don't get this value then it's like, if, if you want something easier, just like say that, or you should realize that that's kind of what you're putting out. Like, and there's kind of an energy here of like, okay, like if you're a feeling almost like maybe this person is like used to more casual situations or I don't know like it's kind of like the energy of like when it oh you know what this is giving oh my gosh it's giving me slightly um um from still in love is blind but what's her face um the girl that's like really pretty like or gosh I don't know if you guys have watched it or not but like there's this one girl that's like they obviously don't see what they look like beforehand but she's like very gorgeous and um it's Jimmy and 
you guys will know for those of you that watch you guys will know who i'm talking about but like it's she he, jimmy ended up choosing um gosh why am i forgetting her name heather is that her name why does that sound wrong to me heather um okay yeah i don't want to get in the nitty-gritty of that but anyways there's like a vibe of disappointment or in your thoughts of just like weakness almost or just like okay like you're not like there's an energy if you're not who you say you are or you're you don't maybe you don't even know what it takes like to get to what you think you want like it, it requires commitment it requires um and like with the higher fun here it's like it, it it's like making me think of marriage too like that marriage is about like the higher font where it's like we're making this commitment to have these values, right? And then there's kind of just this energy, the nine of wands in reverse, the world in reverse, where it's like nine of wands in reverse is about like giving up or like getting overwhelmed by the challenges and just feeling like it's too much. And for me, the world in reverse is kind of like unfinished business or just like not getting to the goal. So anyways, hopefully that reminds you of someone already, but let's see what your person's current thoughts are. And then we're going to go like back and forth. And I also heard you can't always get what you want. Um, you get what you need. Um, so it's, that's just coming through. And I just feel like the girls in all of these pictures are like very like intense and just kind of like there's like a like no BS kind of energy coming from these cards. And the Queen of Wands was in reverse, which no one wants to be on the other side of the Queen of Wands in reverse. All right, what are pile number ones? Let me just make sure that this is straight and in the view. It's gonna drive me crazy later if it's not. Okay. Okay, so what are um, pile number one's person's current thoughts about when it comes to pile number one? Okay, nine of wands, interesting. Okay. We have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. We have the five of cups in reverse and then the seven of pentacles. Okay, so an extra card came up for them. Yeah, definitely, definitely getting vibes of like a connection um, where they're definitely, it, it feels like there was intention or it's like this connection was meant to build into something more substantial or something more long term like I feel like there was some kind of premise of that here um but with the seven of pentacles in reverse the ten of pentacles it's like this person's definitely thinking about how things did not end up the way that they wanted them to um and so with the five of cups here yeah I feel like this person definitely is thinking about um feeling a sense of regret thinking back to what went wrong in this connection like this person is spending time thinking about that um with the nine of wands here i might need to clarify but let me just tune in a little bit more okay i'm gonna i think it's meant to be like this okay this person may be like regretting not having tried harder not have like maybe giving up too soon like because I feel like with this five of swords here for me this is like a card of defeat and getting in your own head like maybe even self-sabotaging or um yeah I was here it was so interesting because I, I don't think I put them down the right order and spirit was like oh switch them and now the meaning like makes sense because it's like they're thinking about what could have been and like how it was supposed to develop maybe in their mind in the beginning but there is this person is definitely thinking about how they aren't they they regret not being like this nine of wands not um pushing harder trying harder um yeah let me see i feel like this person is really think just like having a lot of thoughts about what could have been and regretting not doing what was required to make this Ten of Pentacles, like a reality. And there's definitely a lot around, like, with the Hierophant here and the Ten of Pentacles, like, maybe a more serious relation or the potential for a more serious relationship here. Um, and then, like, this person kind of realizing that it's not, 
or, or thinking about what actually goes into that. This person is thinking about that and is thinking about that what they put in wasn't enough. Um, and I think they're trying to figure it out, if anything, because there's there's a sense here of like, well, what actually goes into this Ten of Pentacles? Um, and do I have what that takes? Like there's kind of, a, yeah. And then with like the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Magician Reverse. Yeah, there's a sense here of them maybe having lacked, again, reliability, follow through. Um, yeah, I want to see like, we'll get more into their feelings and I'll clarify anything else. But this person's definitely thinking about the past or what's gone down between the two of you. Um, thinking about some of the challenges as well. But Jeff, definitely thinking a lot about how things didn't amount to what was expected in this connection and feeling upset about that feeling maybe even a sense of guilt or a sense of like if I had done that differently or like what should I have done differently and like but with the five of swords back of the deck like there couldn't be a sense of like just feeling bad about themselves because of this like I feel like in their thoughts it's it's making them feel less than like it's it's a blow to their ego in a sense but it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy or a sense of like well of course like this happened um I'm wondering if like I even am hearing though like it could be annoying to hear this but it's like it could be like this person thinking that they did put up a fight but it wasn't enough or something or like yeah this person could think that like they did want to try or like some people some of these people might be and you'll know like I, I feel like based on knowing this person some of them maybe like needing to grapple with the truth that they could have tried harder and that was the reason why things didn't move forward but some of them are trying to stay stuck in an idea that they did try and like the fact that things didn't turn out like wasn't necessarily on them but they're still like upset about the th the way things went but I'll see in their feelings more like what comes through so okay let's see now um for pile number one what is the, how are they currently feeling about this person How's pile number one currently feeling? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, we have the, or the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yeah. So I, I feel like, yeah, three of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles, two of Cups. You definitely feel like this sense of um, disappointment and like apathy towards... I just think when it comes down to it, it's like this person didn't make you feel there's like a lack of treating you like wife material or treating you like long term material. And it's almost like kind of this realization that this is someone like in your feelings, you just feel like this person wasn't as robust or like you almost feel like. Okay. I feel like you may have also, there could have been like a strong attraction between you and this person. And I'm wondering if there was like this energy of like, oh, like there's this seed with the page of pentacles or like there's this idea like of the way things could be long term. Um, and kind of like this energy of like being like drawn into that very quickly, but then kind of realizing that it, if anything, it, yeah, there may have been this attraction or like this, like I idea of what could have been or like this potential with this person but I feel like that potential has ended up making you feel like ungrounded and almost feeling like it's taking more from you stability wise like it's there's like a lack of stability that you feel in this connection but there is this sense of um Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So I'm reading into the whole spread. So it's like, I feel like there's also an energy from you. That's like, I don't want someone where it's just an idea and it's like acting on an impulse. If there isn't going to be like this follow through when things, when we aren't feeling attracted to each other, like there needs to be a foundation is like really what I'm feeling from your energy. And so for some of you, you could be feeling like, I don't want to like I've had enough almost like I've had enough of the way that this connection is making me feel like I've had enough of like, like I'm not going to do all the work here with the three of pentacles in reverse, like the eight of pentacles, two of cups. It's like, we're not on the same page. There's a feeling here of like, we're not on the same page. And 
it's almost like once you've seen this or like once you've kind of come to this conclusion, it, I feel like it's hard for you to go back to the perspective you had before. Because, yeah, I feel like you had hopes maybe that this person could have been more King of Pentacles. Like, yeah, that star right underneath. Um, and I feel like if anything, this situation has left you feeling like burnt out and like you might have to do more work or that this person isn't pulling the weight in the situation. And there's almost this energy of like, we're not on the same page about the work that it, like the dedication aspect of a relationship or even just in your lives in general. Like there could even be like, you might be more dedicated or more responsible, like your work ethic, like the way you show up just feels like when you connect with this person, it messes with that energy. Like it doesn't add to it. There isn't this synergistic kind of an energy with the three of pentacles where it's like you get to build something together. It's more like this person is acting like, oh, there's like this pretty opportunity here, but I'm coming at it like this knight of wands and like the knight of wands might burn quickly, but it burns out. And so when, when things get tough, then with the nine of wands in reverse, it's like, what do you do when there you don't have a lot of energy left you don't have a like there's not a lot of passion it's just like yeah I feel like then you're ending up feeling like I think disappointed and like let down and sort of like also having a realization though almost that this person maybe what hopes you had or what energy they put off in the beginning or like what you envisioned for the connection almost just feels like it was more of like an impulsive thing or like like, like your person doesn't take into account, like what you need to feel like respected and valued and like safe in a connection. Like, it's not just going to be idealistic and passion driven. Like there needs to be some like root to the connection. And I think that's something that this person didn't really realize or, or isn't as good at. Um, but let's see, how is um, Pound and Run's person feeling towards them? Page of Swords in reverse. And I'm also hearing the song though. Um, it's very popular. It's like, I lose control when you're not next to me. Um, and it's like, like I need your body, like a fiend, like an addict. Yeah, there could even be an energy here where it's like this, per this person might be like kind of hot and heavy or like they could just have like a passionate vibe to them. Um, and it's just like a relationship that might be more based in like, push and pull kind of an energy where it's like, oh, and like maybe this person like starts to feel like they want to show up or like fight for it when they're feeling sad or when they're feeling the loss of you, like the emptiness of that. Like they can kind of maybe be addicted to like turbulence in relationships. But anyway, so we have the page of swords in reverse. How is pile number or the fool in reverse? We have the nine of cups in the reverse position. How is pile number one's person feeling? Three of wands in reverse. Five of Wands, back the deck. Okay, so there's a strong feeling here of this person almost not understanding why they didn't get what they want in the situation. Like, there's a feeling here of this person, like, there, there's an energy. So the three of wands for me in reverse can be this energy of like, you need to go back to the drawing board. You need to go back to the two of wands and realize like maybe that you've taken a misstep or like things weren't as solid as you might have thought. But yeah, with the nine of cups and the three of wands in reverse, this person's honestly feeling like let down or like they did, they got denied their wishes. They got denied what they wanted kind of like in a childlike way where it's like, you just really want something. So you kind of like expect it. And then you just feel really like sad when you don't get it. Um, I feel like there's an energy here. They they feel like they don't know what they did wrong. So there's kind of a lack of an awareness here um, on your person's end because there's a sense of, I don't understand what I could have done wrong. Like, yeah, because with the Fool and the Page of Swords in reverse, for me, this is like a lack of understanding or a lack of questioning their, like, their energy. Because with the Fool in reverse, they could have done something that was just like, unstable or they could have done something that was really impulsive or they could have done something without thinking I feel like this person tends to do things without thinking and then maybe regretting it later and trying to like fix it later like this person might operate like that um but yeah the way they're feeling is like they've been denied what they want 
um, things aren't moving forward in the way they expected. They aren't getting what they wanted out of the situation. And there's kind of this energy of feeling like, well, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what I could have done. Kind of. Um, it's like a lack of awareness of what it takes to build a stronger relationship that's going to be so they can actually get what they want. It's almost like there's this impulsive energy to them where they fly by the seat of their pants or they, they go by their passion and like emotion and like what they want without realizing maybe the way that they're impacting you or the way that they could be like sabotaging things by like not going about things maybe slightly more carefully or slowly because yeah but also yeah I'm also seeing here that there's an energy of like maybe this is the kind of person who kind of likes the drama and relationships because I could see them where it's like this could be the kind of person that like might like walk away dramatically when they're like frustrated but then they like come back and they're like no I want to fight for this you know what I mean like I don't know like we can work on this I don't know like like why couldn't this work like we could be so happy like I want you but then it's like not taking the time to reflect and do things differently like it's about not taking foolish actions and I feel like on your end it's like you guys might not want to be dealing with the same rodeo again and again and again like I feel like you guys don't want to feel like there's always unfinished business even like yeah because with the world in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse you guys recognize how having this kind of drama or like this like this is the kind of person who likes to leave the door open or likes for there to be like this like chaotic love you know where it's like there's passion and there's loss almost like a movie or a story or something and it's like like there's tragedy and like whatever and like then there's miracles but it's like I feel like on your end there's kind of this energy of um I don't like I would rather I'm just gonna like have to leave it if this is how it's gonna be every single time I might just have to leave it where it is because this does not feel nourishing to me this does not feel like it it, it sits well with me it doesn't I don't want the same groundhog day over and over again where it's like you're this fool that keeps doing this fool action and then like acts like nothing happened or you know wants to doesn't really want to learn from um what's happened last time yeah and I also feel like with the seven of pentacles in reverse there's there's this energy of like a lack of patience to actually build what would be satisfying for you so it's like this energy where yeah maybe this person wants you and like is attracted to you like they want something from you but there's this energy of being impatient and so then they might do something like foolish like I feel like there's an energy here where it's like if they don't get what they want they might do something like impulsive or something and like make things worse but it's like this person might be seeing it from this energy of like this is just like how passionate I am or like you know it's kind of like how like more immature relationships can be um where it's like you, you're crossing boundaries though and you've broken promises so it's like don't instead of like taking the time to figure out maybe what's the root of the problem it's like flying by the seat of your pants to interact and like there's kind of an addiction that this person has to that though and so it's like underlying there's a sabotaging energy because I don't think they actually want to build something that lasts that that has this that moves slowly because it's like addicted to that like passion and not, not having to think in relationships like not having to think about like what your values are what you've committed to it's like just moving with this passion energy yeah hmm Okay, so now we're going to go to what each of you, yeah, and, and for you, it's like, I can't work with this. Like, I'd rather just work on my own then, like, um, because it's almost like just taking away. And it's like, th they maybe have had partners in the past, though, or maybe even you, like, maybe in the past, you guys did play along with this, or like, I feel like there can be people that like, both are addicted to this kind of like, push and pull kind of a relationship. And there could be people who would like kind of give into the passion and like make up and break up, you know, it's kind of like that. And, and so they might be expecting that 
other people be pulled in the same way. So either maybe you guys were like that in the past or you guys aren't like that at all. And this person like isn't understanding why things can't move forward or why they're not getting what they want, why they need to go back to the two of wands. Like is your plan, you know, it's not reaping you the results that you want. Go back to the drawing board because there's something off about your approach. Like that would be like my advice for your person. And it's like, yeah, with the five of wands, it's like this person kind of wants there to be a challenge, wants there to be a fight because it's like this devil's energy or else this person might get bored with the four of cups. Like they might kind of associate that with like, like a good, like that they really care for someone if there's like drama. Okay. So let me see. Let me make sure we're all in view. I want to look at for the extended first, like, what is this person going to do next? I want to see what this person would want to say to you. So we'll channel a message from them. So far, we'll do that. So next action and a message from them. But let's see. Okay, so what, do, what does pile number one currently, like, want when it comes to this connection? Like, what are their intentions? What are their desires at the current moment? We have Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the moon, we have justice, five of wands. Okay, so I feel like with you guys, like there might be a feeling of like, I'm tired. Like I just want, I want um, a resolution. I want clarity between us. I, there's a lot of confusion. Um, but I almost feel like that's like where this person likes to keep the energy because that means that there's less like, predictability right it's like this person almost doesn't like that predictability aspect um but with you I feel like there's this energy of like I feel like I have the right to or like you want justice you want things to be equal and fair and you want um and I feel like this person has caused you some level of frustration and like confusion as well um and maybe like going through a cycle with this person a lot or just like being like, what? I feel like you guys more than anything want the truth to come out. Like you just want clarity. I feel like you want number one, an equal relationship. But at the very least, it's like, can you at least give me what I deserve from the situation? Like, please. Like sometimes you guys might like, I feel like this connection could draw you in to, because I feel like it's designed to, like, not consciously, potentially, but, like, some people can be, you know, manipulative, manipulative enough for it to be intentional, but I think it's more, like, childish more than anything, but I feel like for you guys, it's giving you, like, a lack of stability and confusion, because it's, like, okay, yeah, I feel like you guys might just be more, like, straightforward, or you guys are in an era right now where you're just, like, focusing on being straightforward and really, or, like, that's just what, you're like, and so it's kind of like, okay, do you, what, do you like me or not? Or like, do you want this or not? Like, stop the wishy-washy. Like, I feel like there's an energy of, okay, I'm kind of confused because I do feel like this person does care for me because they, um, you know, maybe they tell me that or they come at me with like all this passion. So, and they give me this attention sometimes that's like very intense and they can make, really make it seem like there's like this, and, and there is honestly this emotional investment. Um, but you guys are in this position, okay, if they feel like that, then why isn't it moving forward? Or like, why aren't we able to build something then? And then like, that's where this person's like, well, this is like where I haven't worked on myself. That's what you don't understand is like this person's shadow work, honestly. It's like this person needs, and, and maybe for some of you guys, you would want this person to figure out their own stuff so they can come to you with clarity. Some of you guys might be confused. And it's kind of making you feel confused in general about like, like, I, I don't know. There's kind of just this energy of like, can you just <laughs> like this person could be exhausting or something. So it's just like, can you just like not, can you just calm it down? But there is an energy of like finding this person like attractive at the very least. Or like, I feel like you do have some level of interest or you have had that, but it's like not like, but it's genuinely confusing you the way that this person is being, because you might not like speak in this like sort of, um, game playing energy but it's like I don't think this person is like oh I want to play games with pile number one it might just be like they're used to it 
like a, I do this, you do that. Like where it's like, okay, like let's say I don't text you for two days. I'm expecting you to not just go, oh, this person isn't interested in me. Like I want you then to like chase me. Um, and like, but I don't actually want you to think I'm not interested in you, but it's like, do you see how like, that's a lack of straightforwardness? It's like, then maybe they, there's like covert contracts where it's like, I want you to do this, but I do that. And I want you to know I'm crazy enough that I do still care. Like, you know what I mean? Like when I'm not talking to you, like, but you know, people that aren't doing this, like might just like try to read that as a clear sign as something like that. But then it's like, okay, then you come back and you're like, I can't believe you would think I didn't care about you or something. And it's like, well, like what like you know I, I just feel like this person like wants the fight yeah temperance in reverse wants the um up and down like the lack of balance and I think that's confusing for you and I feel like you just want I think you want fairness and clarity and like I feel like you guys just want to come to a solution that's fair but this person's making it hard because of all of this, all of this that they're doing. But I'll see if I can get anything else from that after we look at. Um... So what is problem number one's person currently? What do they want? What, do, what are they desiring? What are their intentions? What does problem number one's person want? Yeah, Knight of Wands, literally no joke. Like this person wants the passion. They want to come towards you. Like they want the drama. They want the the fun, the adventure, I guess. Or like, what else does Colin Wands person want? Yeah, they want the Five of Pentacles. Again, like, like I was telling you, it's like this energy of like, they like when they feel... They kind of, oh gosh, there's such an energy of like, I like the pain almost, or it's like this person is like the kind of person, like you guys might not even know just by being mature and sort of not like chasing them. It's like this person might then feel like so abandoned or like so left out. It's like, this is the kind of person where it's like, if you think they're not thinking about you, they actually are. Like this is someone who's kind of addicted to you and like addicted to your energy, like gets addicted to people and they're addicted to feeling that sense of chasing and abandonment, you know, like it, it's like this person almost gets off on feeling like someone is like, doesn't want them or someone's like intentionally like ignoring them. Like this person could even like go that route. Like they might not do this to you specifically, but it's an energy like this where it's like, for me, I feel like I've, it's happened in my life where like, I wasn't even thinking about someone, but like someone thinks that I'm like intentionally like cutting them out of my life or something. And it's like, no, I'm not like doing this on purpose. Like everything isn't like this subtle, like other intentional kind of a thing. Um, yeah. So in the extended, we'll look at like what their next, next action is going to be like outwardly. But I also want to look at like what their intention behind their action. What are they trying? What are they going to do externally? But what do they want behind the scenes? And I feel like that'll be a good look at sort of, um, the way this person operates and then we'll get a message from them which I'm sure will be interesting but yeah the seven of cups in reverse there's kind of an, yeah it's like this person wants always wants there to be yeah look at this the sun and then the star this person seriously wants there to be like enough confusion and like hope and potential where it's like there isn't the eight of cups though so it's like this person it's like two levels of maturity where it's like a person that isn't getting what they want in a relationship, a healthy person is just going to like recognize that and move on to something else. But with this person, it's almost like if they feel like they're not getting what they want in a relationship, they, they like the potential drama or like the potential fantasy of it changing or getting better. And I feel like this person might think you operate like that or that other people are like this, or they're just like so caught up in it that they don't realize that they're throwing you off or that they're creating confusion. But I'm just here to explain that it comes from um, abandonment wounds and like a chaser kind of an energy. All right. Um, or they could even like want, it's like, because they can feel like that because they can think people are like intentionally like trying to cut them out so then they'll chase them like they could think they could try to like cut you out 
or like not talk to you. And like, they may like hope that that's going to make you take action towards them. Um, or they feel like the more that like, they almost think it's going to build tension, right? Like it's going to build passion, like how much we miss each other, like blah, blah, blah. All right. So, um, what else for Paul and Ron's person? What do they currently want? Okay. We have the Hierophant. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Cups. There's an energy here of this person. This is what it's like. It's literally, we have judgment. It's like this person wants to get things to the absolute point where maybe things would end and then they may want to like offer you commitment or like they may be like no 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 like don't don't end things with me like don't, like take me back you know like there's kind of an energy like that like take me back um you know I I don't want this to end like I know this stuff's happened but like yeah and then with the nine of wands in reverse it could be like you feeling like because it's interesting that it was coming through like where this person like isn't really trying but I feel like this person might run away when things get hard or like be, have an emotional reaction to that. And then it's like, then they might think in their mind that they're every time they come back or something, or the fact that they're sad means that they still care and they still fight for it. But it's like, in your mind, it's just destabilizing for them to what, what the nine of wands really would be, would be to stay there and have a mature like conversation. Um, and like work through things, even though it's been hard. Like, I feel like that's this person isn't realizing that, still caring and then like coming back dramatically like or, or you know doing this like full impulsive things or like kind of like letting things get to this place where it's like there's angst it's like this person wants her to be angst and then it's like okay then I'll like commit and offer stuff but it's like until the next cycle it's kind of how it feels yeah okay so for the extended reading let's look at what this person's next actions are going to be, what their intention, what are they, what result are they hoping to get from those actions? Um, we're going to be getting a message from your person using message cards as well. And then we'll get some guidance for you on the connection. So um, I hope this has been interesting, helpful to kind of see what's going on. Um, thank you so much for being here for your time. I'll have the extended link down below. And if you found that this really resonates, um, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, subscribing are all ways that I'm better able to tune into your specific energy for future readings and to really focus on those um, that are interacting with me the most and resonating with me the most. So I hope you guys have a good one and I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the pink quartz crystal or rose quartz, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at what's going on in this connection through looking at you and your person's energy side by side. So on the left side, we're going to be doing your energy in the connection. On the right side, we're going to be doing your person's energy. And we're going to be breaking it up into each of your thoughts, feelings, and then what each of you currently wants or desires um, from the connection at the moment and like what your intention is, but more of like what you want to happen or what you're desiring. So there will be also an extended reading. It's going to be probably slightly different for each pile, depending on what's most relevant for you guys and what would be the most beneficial or um, what spirit feels we should go deeper into. So stay tuned for that if you really do feel like this is your reading and you guys um, are interested in um, listening to more tarot reading. So this is going to be actually your person's energy. Um, I'm going to use another deck for your energy. This is the uh, Modern Witch Tarot. I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. I don't know why I'm like not remembering if I said that or not. But anyways, let's get started. Let's tune in. Spirit, please tune me into pile number two. Sorry, there's a cord hanging right here that's bothering me. Okay. Spirit, well, how is, what is pile number two currently thinking about their person? What are their thoughts about this connection related to? Please tune me into their energy. What are they currently thinking about when it comes to this person? And any other context of the connection? 
that's going to be helpful for me as a reader and for the listener to know that this is their reading. All right, one more shuffle and then we'll get on. Okay. What are pal number two's current thoughts in regard to this person? We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And I keep hearing like the TikTok, all this work and what did it get me? Um, so it's kind of funny that the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is here, but um, we'll see if that is even relevant. I don't know if that's just stuck in my head, but okay. What else is pal number two thinking about? We have the sun, we have strength in reverse. Let me get one more for what they're thinking about, page of swords in reverse. Interesting, four of swords. Okay, there's kind of an interesting energy. So also I wanna mention that if you feel like this energy is more like your person side, um, that's completely fine. I would just switch the, um, side. So then it would just be opposite. But what I'm picking up here, there's kind of an energy of, okay, what I need to just put this into words. It, it's, it's like an energy where maybe, okay, with the four of swords here, maybe you guys have been kind of going through a lot right now, or cause what this is kind of making me think of is when you you have um, a lot going on on your plate or you just gone through something that's kind of intense. And like, let's say you're dealing with a relationship with someone and it's kind of one of those things where like you, you aren't able to be fully like invested, but it's not a them problem. Like it's one of those things where it's actually, it's not you, it's me. Like where, cause I'm kind of getting like this energy of feeling like this, thinking about how there's nothing maybe wrong with like this person per se or the connection, but with strength in reverse, the page of swords in reverse, it just makes me feel like what this connection is requiring of you. Um, it, it's almost like something that you don't have right now because with the page of swords in reverse, it's making me think, it's almost making me think of you try. And again, this could be your person's energy. So switch it. If, that feels more right to you but it's almost an energy of like this is what it, I, it's making me think about like I feel like in the past when I have been in sort of a like a different kind of a headspace or one where I'm like not feeling fully like myself but um I'm interacting with other people like I feel like sometimes I can kind of like disengage or like get like it almost just can feel like too much sometimes like even just the bare minimum in a, in a relationship like having to respond or like it's one of those things where you almost feel like it's making you feel too much pressure. And so then you kind of just want to avoid it because I feel like with the page of swords in reverse, for me, this is when like, I don't want to check my phone or like, this is what's coming through for this reading is like thinking about how I don't almost want to think about it, or I kind of want to avoid it for a little bit longer, but maybe you're thinking about how you then might miss the opportunity with this person. Or it's almost like, yeah, because all this work, what did it get me? Like, that might be this person's energy. Like, because I'm kind of feeling here, like, you know, I'm going to actually speak in person A's terms, person A, person B, because I feel like some of you might resonate more with person B. But person A is coming through where they're thinking about how there's nothing wrong with the connection. There's nothing wrong with person B and how this probably would be something that could make them really happy. But because of this state that they're in, it's almost like they feel like it's slipping through their fingers or it's like they know they need to be more attentive or more like aware of what they should be doing, if that makes sense, or like what they should be like attentive enough. So like, for example, it's almost like dropping the ball on person A's side a little bit where it's like, Let's say, for example, you went on a date with someone and then you both like talked about having plans like next Thursday, but let's say that person B was the person that initiated it two times before. So it might just like naturally, naturally be person A's turn to kind of maybe initiate like the text and initiate the plan. But because of the space that person A is in, like they might kind of like 
because no one really it's almost one of those things where it's like they may not initiate and be like well it wasn't well person b didn't initiate so at least i'm not like not replying or i'm not like overtly saying no but it's kind of one of those things where it's like but they are then not fully participating or it could be giving like a message of disinterest or it could be a way to like lose the opportunity if like you aren't being reciprocal right like that's kind of what I'm picking up on here but I feel like it's coming from this place of like maybe person a working through some of their fears right now um oh and it even could be like from their past um I don't know if person A has gotten out of a relationship or they're still like processing something from their past. Um, that's just making it harder for them to be super like optimistic and open. Cause I'm kind of just getting this energy where like person A likes person B's energy and recognizes that there is something of value here. But because of the state they're in, their thoughts are like this kind of energy of like maybe even slight like guilt, but like the fear it's almost like that that avoidance fear, like when you're procrastinating on replying, but not because the per you don't like the person or because you're trying to send a message. It's almost just because like you are so in your own space that you almost like it's an energy of not wanting to have to bring the mood down or like not wanting to maybe like where you're not at that point where you're going to say like, hey, honestly, like I'm just dealing with a lot right now. Like, um. You know, it could be an energy where person A, like, is trying to participate in the relationship without, like, bringing in, like, any negativity or, like, conflict. But then because they're doing that, it might be coming off, like, a little bit avoidant. And so then they could be thinking about how they're maybe losing an opportunity with person B. Those are the thoughts on person A's side. Getting a sip of my tea. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now we're going to we're going to go back and forth. So now we're going to look at person B's thoughts right now towards person A and the connection. And it could even be that like person A is wanting person B to think that they're like in a good space or like may kind of want to only show that side that is like happy. And it's kind of also like an energy where, and I feel like I've been like this before where it's like, I just feel almost like if I'm not in a good mood or if like I'm dealing with something heavier, like I don't want to be a burden to the people around me. And so I just like feel the need to like show up in my best energy or like not really show up at all, you know? And so I feel like this person's maybe struggling with that state of like maybe turning down opportunities because they don't feel like they're in like a happy headspace. And it can come from a place where it's like they don't want to be even rejected by person B. Like they don't want to be vulnerable and kind of show that side and then have person B like saying or thinking to them, which I don't think this would happen, but it's like them thinking like, oh, I'm not really interested in person A. Like they're, you know, if they're not fun all the time, if they're not happy. Um, and I feel like there's kind of an energy of person A even like laying low a little bit, like hoping that person B doesn't really notice that there's something like off or different going on with them. And I'm just seeing like this person with their like hand on their head as well. and just kind of being like, oh, like, and like turning their phone off or something. Okay. What is person B currently thinking about person A? We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have, okay, I have to cover this. Let me get. Okay. Okay, this is the Nymph of Wands. I'm not going to lie, I'm forgetting if the nymph is the page, because spirit, the warrior, sorry you guys, I have to figure this out before I go on, so I'm not just like off the whole time. Sorry, I should have done this before, but I forgot that this deck has spirit and warrior. I feel like this is the king... Queen. I just need to find one more warrior. Yeah, the nymph is, is definitely the page. Okay, so that's the page of wands. 
So we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Page of Wands upright. What is pal or person number B thinking about person number A or the connection? What are their thoughts like? Ten of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess. Okay, yeah. Definitely, like, is in alignment with what I'm picking up on here. And I would bet you, yeah, Four of Cups at the back of the deck. I could bet you that um, some of you guys are probably person B. Just because, like, if you guys are at a reading for someone... I mean, maybe some of you guys are person A. I'm not going to rule that out, but I just feel like there's kind of an avoided energy here. But so I feel like person B is feeling is think their thoughts are kind of frustrated. I think with person A, um, I feel like they're thinking about how they don't want they they are intuitive. So in their thoughts, like I feel like person B is like I'm picking up like a, a disinterested vibe, like with the four of wands. Like I feel like with the three of wands, yeah. And again, it's like I feel like person B is like waiting on person A to kind of show more interest or, um, and with the 10 of wands, I'm not surprised to see it because again, it, there was an energy coming through of like, who's putting the work into the relationship or who is, um, yeah, like tending to the connection, I guess. And so I feel like with the high priestess, yeah, this is so interesting. So I feel like what's, what's happened, I'm seeing this as a reader objectively. So I just want to say like, I'm definitely getting that person B is picking up is interpreting maybe person A trying to come through. So it's like person A may try to come through in like a very positive way, but then when they aren't consistent with it or like they aren't um, maybe following through or like maybe they do go into their cocoon and kind of like they need time to recuperate again before they can kind of build up the energy to like come back out of the shell. Like I feel like person B is kind of interpreting that as like a page of wands kind of an energy that maybe isn't super reliable or someone who's just like, here and there and someone that um doesn't really like have a full-on vision for the connection because with the queen of wands here it's like the queen of wands would be happiest with or i mean in this scenario i feel like the queen of wands would be happy with the king of wands and the king of wands is someone who very much like has the passion but they also have the vision for the future and like they they're implementing it and i feel like with the page of wands with the queen of wands that's going to leave a queen of wands feeling like, like an, it's an unequal situation because that is an unequal situation because they're, they are coming through like the page of wands, like someone who's like, maybe comes out and is super like excited and interesting, but then it kind of lacks that depth or that vision, like the depth of like the connection. Um, and, and, and I definitely feel like there is a miscommunication between the two because I don't think person B is fully aware of maybe why person a is acting in this energy but i definitely think that person b is like i guess this is just my like understanding of it like i think person b is entitled to come to the conclusion of what person a's actions have shown them but i feel like with the high priestess here it's like i feel like I feel like person B is wanting to pull their energy back with the high priestess i feel like they're not trying to be as like open with maybe their interest in person A anymore. Like I feel like they're thinking about how they kind of want to pull back or they may even be thinking about how they feel like person A has a secret or is not being super open to them about what they're dealing with, what they're going through. Like person B could, could be somewhat aware of that, but they may not know what it is because it's a high priestess. Like they may just feel, they definitely sense that there is some kind of a blockage and they, they think about this. They think about like, it kind of pisses me off or kind of bothers me. Um, or I don't feel, I don't like the way it makes me feel like person B would be thinking about that. They could either be getting frustrated about that because the queen of wands in reverse is not like can, can get frustrated. Um, but at the very least, they're just feeling like underappreciated or like they're not being met with like their value. And with the 10 of wands in reverse, I feel like they're thinking about how they don't want, they're not going to carry the burden of the connection. Like, until maybe until they know further until they understand more about what's going on with person a like i feel like there's just kind of this energy of like well i'm not just gonna yeah all that work and what did it get me like that's the energy of person b if anything um or they don't want to be in that position depending on what your guys's like history is like it, it could just be that person b doesn't want to carry the weight of the connection and then just be like disappointed. And so there's just this energy of until there's like a more of like an openness and 
less of like a mystery around like because I feel like there's this energy of like what does person A do like who are, not like who are they but like I don't like there's a disconnect and and it really comes from person A f- feeling unworthy being open to others like they they don't want to be open and vulnerable they don't want to be vulnerable in front of people because they don't want to be like they don't want to get a negative reaction and so they think their best route is just allowing there to be some mystery and some like lack of clarity because that's what I'm getting it's like it's like person a is an outright um telling person b like oh I'm not interested or something it's more just like they're hoping person b is like almost not thinking too hard about it or like not investigating them because with the page of swords and reverse and it's almost like the way that they're trying it's like they avoid getting too deep with person b because they don't want to put the questions back on them if that makes sense like they kind of are keeping up this barrier then between the two um but yeah I definitely feel like with the four of cups I think that person B is is thinking that they kind of want to be somewhat more disinterested they're gonna go into a receptive state until they get more information yeah like they feel like there's unfinished business here with the world in reverse and with the two swords reverse it's like I don't I need more information so I'm just gonna be receptive and wait but in the meantime like I'm not I'm not gonna be like super I'm not gonna be moving towards this connection like I I need to pull back my energy like I need to be more if you're gonna be high priestess I'm gonna be high priestess like if you're not gonna show me your cards I'm gonna pull back then too okay let's see what um person a's current feelings are and if you guys are resonating so far a way that readings can resonate more closely to your connect your situation in the future is through hitting the like button, leaving a comment, making sure that you're subscribed. Um, so I'm channeling more into those that interact with me more. I feel like that um, helps me tune into a more niche group because there are a lot of people watching the videos. So it also supports the channel. So thank you for doing that. All right. What are person A's current feelings towards person B? Okay, with the lovers in reverse. We have the three of wands. We have the two of swords. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see the two of swords. Six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, two of cups at the back of the deck. Okay, you know, I'm just going to get actually both of them out at once. Why not? And I was hearing the, the song like, you don't have to try so hard. You don't have to give it all away. Which is interesting because I almost feel like you know that song what's what's it called that that's coming through my readings a lot but it's at first when I heard those songs I don't really love them but then the words are actually really good but um it's Colby Calais like you don't have to try so hard you don't have to give it all away like I feel like there's an energy here where it's like if person A just knew that the best way to engage in a relationship is by just being themselves like they don't have to be like perfect or they don't have to have like a ton to give in order to be worthy of a connection because I feel like that's the main blockage here like with the six of pentacles in reverse there is an energy of feeling like they don't have a lot to give um and it's like that's why they're they're holding back with the three of wands it's like they they feel like they're in a rock and a hard place essentially because they are interested in person b but they feel like they're not in a position to yeah, they, they believe that they're not in a position to be worthy. And again, that's causing them to act from a place of fear, right? And I feel like they're also afraid to like be honest or like, like, I feel like they're, they're just playing their cards close to their chest. And it's because they feel like unworthy or they feel like they have something that like, they don't feel safe to act trusting in love because I feel like the lovers for me 
um, in reverse. This is about like a decision in the and where you're making your decisions from. And with so with strength and reverse lovers and reverse, these are two cards for me that show me that a person is very much acting from a place of fear. Like a lot of their decisions and actions and the way they're being are, are because they're ruled by fear. Um, and in this case, it's causing this person to pull back or hide who they are from person B. Um, but they're feeling, they're feeling like they're in a weak position. They're not feeling too confident is what I would say. But let's see. So how is person B currently feeling towards person A and the connection? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune with Chance. We have the Emperor. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm feeling this. We have the Lovers. Wow. So we have the Lovers in, on both sides. Um, the King of Swords in the, in the reverse. Wow. So we have the Lovers here. The Lovers is upright on the right section. Um, and on the left, it's it's reversed. And so I feel like Person B's perspective is that they, they are someone who... They're in tune making decisions from a place of love is really what I'm getting because I feel like they are someone who's willing to work with person A, but they feel like there needs to be some changes like, and they're hoping, I feel like person B, as much as they may be kind of resigning, like from, it's like until they get more from person A and we have the emperor here and the eight of pentacles, they feel like they want person A to show up with a more structured and um, with more effort and more um, drive to work on the connection with them and also to like build something together, right? Because I feel like with the lovers, the lovers is also about relationships and values and creating harmony between opposite energies, like the masculine and the feminine. And so I feel like I feel like person B is in this energy of like, you just have to work with me though. Like, yeah, because I feel like with the warrior of swords here, um, I believe this is the queen of swords. I think the spirit is the king in this deck. Oh no, we have queen. Oh, this is the knight of swords in reverse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like person B is waiting for more of a decisive action from person A, like the Knight of Swords. Like they want person A to be sure of them and they and they don't just want them to speak it. They want them to show it with their actions. And they want they want person A to take more control because I feel like there's an energy here of like, I'm definitely willing to work with person A and compliment the energy. I want us to be complimentary, but right now I feel like I'm taking my hands off the wheel with the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor because I want you to take more control. Either I want you to overtly take more control or I'm just going to give it up to the universe because this either is for me or it isn't. And I'm going to see that through the actions you take. Until then, I'm just going to keep working on my own garden. Um, I'm open to the love, but I feel like the most loving thing I can do is putting energy on myself right now. Um, yeah. And then, but I feel like it's kind of rough over here with um, pile number uh, or person A's energy because it's like here we are in a very, um, number one, a blocked energy with the lovers, which is also being blocked from making a decision. Look at this. This is a very receptive energy of waiting and almost wanting to get more information um, and sitting in a place of uncertainty and feeling a sense of lack or almost feeling like they, if things are going to work out, they feel like they need generosity from person B. And they're kind, I think they're kind of hoping for more, like, but I don't think person A is like in an entitled energy or it's, I don't think that they're like, like coming from like a narcissistic perspective. I think it's just coming from an energy where I don't, in all honesty, I just like don't think that person A is in an energy that is going to be what person B wants and feels they deserve right now. And I think person A may already know that, you know, they may know that they can't show up as this king of wands or this emperor person A. And so there's kind of this vibe of like, well, I have my best option because it what it would be worse for me to 
show up and not have enough to offer person B and then be rejected. Um, so until then, I would rather, you know, play my cards closer to my chest um, and hold off on making a decision and kind of sit in this place. Maybe things will get better over time. Like maybe things, yeah, maybe things will shift in my direction. Um, but until then, like, I'm actually going to have to rely on person B's like generosity with the six of pentacles in reverse, because I'm not in a place where it can be an equal give and take relationship. So the only way, like from person B's perspective or person A is it's like, they kind of know that the only way the connection could survive. And here's where it's a little bit like questionable is that they, but it, it, it it's so long as person B is allowing that, because I feel like it is important for us to recognize that it is our responsibility to put in our boundaries and assert our needs. And so if person B hasn't done that with person A, like there is room for person A then to stay in the connection and, you know, until it's made very clear, right? Like, does that make sense? Where it's like, we're all kind of responsible where it's like, if we're going to keep giving someone attention, we never got the guarantee or the commitment that they're in a certain energy. And so if we're going to show up with an energy ahead of time and hoping that that's going to be returned to us, that's kind of on us sometimes to make sure that a person is able to get that energy and to see examples of that before we are, you know, we'll give a little, they give a little, like that's the way to build a connection rather than um, like if this has gone on for some time, it's like then person B is going to start feeling resentful. Person A is going to start feeling like victimized maybe by going like, well, I didn't like promise anything or like, you know, I never, you know, like they might start feeling like person B then is unfair or something, which is just like kind of setting everyone up for failure. So I don't know. That's the way I'm seeing the connection right now. But with the two of cups here, yeah, the knight of pentacles, that's the thing, the hermit, you guys. This person is in a really difficult space right now. Yeah, look, ten of swords, I, the star. Okay, you guys, I'm really feeling that person A ha needs more time for healing, needs more time for like self-love. Um, they could have gone through some sort of difficult ending, but I feel like with the seven, that's what's causing them to be evasive or sort of strategic is that they, they don't really have the they're not in a, a super high vibe energy right now um it could be t it, it probably is temporary but with the hermit in reverse i feel like this person is go is coming in and out of time periods of kind of isolating themselves because that's what they need to do or that's what they have time for but i and i feel like with the knight of pentacles in reverse this person's very slow moving um very very slow moving and so i feel like if like person b person b if you're person b i feel like it's important to kind of understand where person a is coming from um, and just be aware of like what you're willing to give to person A because yeah. And I mean, I'm not getting the vibe that person A has over promised a lot. I think they've been ambiguous on purpose because they know that they, and there's a reason for that. And so I feel like it's one of those situations where it's like, pay attention to what someone has told you or what they haven't said, you know, and don't kind of fill in the gaps for that person based on what you think. Okay, so now let's look at what person A wants from the connection. So for the extended, let's do um, future energy because it's person A, person B. Let's do the future thoughts, feelings, and desires like in about maybe three months or so, or like in the near future, whenever that is for you guys. Um, we're gonna look at how the energies are shifting. Um, we'll be getting, let's get some messages from each side to each person, and then we'll get guidance for each side. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll have it linked in the description box. And thank you for your support with those. That's one of the easiest ways. Um, I mean, if you guys are able, if not, like that's totally fine. I um, really love doing these YouTube readings too, so. But anyways, I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested. Okay. What does person A currently want when it comes to person B in the connection? Ace of Wands. I feel like they're trying, yeah, look at this, the Four of Wands. Four swords. So I, I, it's just coming through really strong. Like I really feel, and this is where like, I'm like side eyeing just a little bit like, and no, no judgment, but like, I do feel like subconsciously or consciously because this person is in kind of a lower space right now. Like I feel like they're, they are really 
like being nurtured through the energy that they're getting from person B and like the excitement, the sense of passion and the sense of like spirit that I feel that they may be feeling like really drained right now. And so I feel like they may be kind of using this as like a lifeline a little bit. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. What does person A currently want? Yeah. Three of cups. So I would just be careful because I feel like, um, two of cups in reverse back of the deck I feel like person a may be just kind of looking for a distraction or something to kind of lift their spirits I feel like they're only in the position for a more casual connection and with the page of pentacles in reverse like there's a need to be careful with that energy just because it's very non-committal and it's hard to rely on this energy they want something it's kind of like they want a fix of this excitement and fun and distraction from whatever they're going through and they may like to kind of be in that space where they're like maybe allowing there to be like ideas or like getting idealistic about like what could be. But I feel like there's kind of just this energy of um, they're not being very much substance to what they're trying to build here. So yeah, for sure I'm getting that. And in this case, I'm really kind of getting this energy where person B is looking to receive. This is coming through a slightly more negative now because I feel like there's an energy of person B in their feelings, feeling like they just kind of want to receive more than give. And they may feel like person B is very generous or healing a healing energy to be around or even someone that like boosts their confidence or just makes them feel because I feel like person B is coming through like with if sh if they have queen of wands energy like they're probably someone that is fun to be around someone that you definitely want to associate with um but I just feel like when it, yeah I'm not I'm not loving this and I feel like they're kind of using it as like their fix of like happiness okay what does person B currently want What is, okay, we have judgment in reverse. What does person B want when it comes to this connection? Okay, we have the five of cups. We have the ace of wands in reverse. Eight of wands in reverse. Okay, so I definitely feel like person B, ten of cups in reverse. I feel like person B is really wanting to pull back, honestly. Like, I feel like person B is prepared to, they want to take a step back from anything that's just like burning kind of hot and heavy in the beginning, but then doesn't really hold the substance. Um, and I feel like with the five of cups here, there is an energy of person B kind of being willing to grieve this situation, kind of let go because. I feel like, yeah, this is kind of sad because I feel like person B is maybe realizing that there has been a lack of like, like truth in the situation or that they maybe haven't been seeing it from like the most clear level. And so I feel like person B, there's kind of an energy here of wanting to mourn and slow down and like kind of pull back and slow down and go, okay, like whatever I was imagining for this connection, I'm realizing isn't maybe going to be true. And it's kind of this energy of, you know, when you have to like mourn the loss of like a dream or like when you had your hopes up for something, it's kind of like you created like a vision of what the situation could be. Um, and then it's kind of like all of that going poof, you know, I feel like person B might be ready for that. Like not because they will obviously no one wants that, but they because awakening is here in judgment, it's kind of this energy of realizing that maybe maybe they ha they they have to admit to themselves that this is what the situation was as annoying as that can be and as like frustrating as it can be and and it can kind of bring you down to like go through that but i feel like person b is like realizing that they don't just want they're, they're realizing it might just be this ace of wands in reverse ace of it's like they don't even want the ace of wands if it's just going to become the ace of wands in reverse right where it's just going to be this like something that blows hot but blows quickly um, yeah, so that's where I'm seeing the current energies being at. I'm going to take it into the extended. Um, we'll be doing you and your person. We'll be looking at the future of the connection. We'll be looking at what you guys would say to each other. And then we'll be getting guidance for both sides. So 
Um, I hope to see you there, but if not, um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. If you can throw a like to the video, a comment, uh, make sure you're subscribed. Those are always you can support the channel. And other than that, um, I appreciate you letting me read for you and I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Mystic Monday Tarot with this amethyst crystal point, this is going to be a reading where we're looking at what's going on in a significant connection in your life. We're going to be looking at this from your perspective and your person's perspective. So originally I wanted the left side to be your perspective and the right side to be your person's, but I realized with these kinds of readings, it can happen that it's flip-flopped. So I'm instead just going to do person A versus person B. And so just listen for whoever you resonate more with. And then the other person will likely be your person's energy. So I'm going to start with yours or with the left side, which could be your energy, could not be, but I'll probably be able to figure it out. But again, there could be some people that are person A, some people that are person B. So I'm excited to get into this. So Spirit, please tune me into pile number three's energy. Please tune me into this connection. Please talk to me about the first person in this connection that you want to discuss, that you want to tap into. So please tune me into this connection, please, Spirit. So we're going to do um, person A's thoughts, feelings, and what they want, and then the same for person um, number B. There will, person number B, help, <laughs> person B, um, there will be an extended reading. So it's probably going to be a little bit different for every pile, depending on what comes through and what spirit feels is most um, beneficial for you guys to go deeper into. So stay tuned for that. If you do um, really resonate with this and you guys want to go more in depth, that's really what I use the um, extended readings for. All right, so person A, please talk to me about person A's current thoughts about this connection. What is person A currently thinking about in regards to person B, the connection? Okay, we have the sun. We have the page of cups. We have the high priestess. Ooh, okay, I'm liking this energy coming through so far. Um... I'm going to get one more. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. And then the Knight. Okay, the Knight of Wands in the back of the deck, though. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to pull both sides, and then we'll get into each person's thoughts. So now, Spirit, please tune me into Person B's energy. What are Person B's thoughts currently about this connection, about Person A? Please tune me into Person B. It's coming through first off for person A, like this could be a crush kind of a situation. Um, but I'm getting like an, like an energy of person A, like not wanting to come on too strong. Um, I feel like person A is like thinking about how, although they're excited about person B, um, and again, like it could be kind of a crush. They may have like the beginning of feelings here and like some excitement or optimism about the connection with the high priestess and the eight of wands in reverse. It feels like there's a little bit of like not playing it cool, but just not giving everything away right away. So I feel like with the eight of wands, there could be like an energy of, okay, like I'm very excited, but I need to slow myself down. Um, okay, but let's see for person B. What are person B's current thoughts? towards person A. Okay, we have the tower. We have the queen of swords in reverse. We have the, okay, we have a lot. Okay, this is like really changing my narrative right now. We have the five of cups. Um, one more for person B's thoughts. Eight of wands. Interesting. This keeps happening for these readings where it's like, the same position for each person, the same card will come out, but one person is gonna, is reversed. And then we have the five of swords here. Okay, very, um, definitely a more heavy energy coming through from person B side. So um, in all honesty, I'm kind of getting that with person B, um, I feel like 
there may have been something separate from this connection that's gone on for person B. So um, I, I'm kind of picking up on this isn't a relationship with a lot of history. Um, I'm going to go with that so I don't get confused because that's what I'm seeing because person A's energy is just coming through so like fresh, um, yet definitely trying to temper themselves in a way. But person B, like I feel like person B has maybe dealt with um, a, a very difficult energy with the queen of swords. There's kind of an energy of like trauma or like, I feel like person B has gone through something kind of traumatic. Um, this could be in another relationship. Um, yeah. Cause with the five of swords for me, it's just, it's giving me a lot of heavy energy and like drama and like feeling almost under attack or like the you know that feeling you get just when you've been dealing with a lot of difficult energies, like how it can kind of skew how you feel about like everything. It kind of can color your vision and kind of make you just feel like, or at least this is how I've experienced it, is like even if someone's completely innocent or like something is like has had no red flags, like a part of me can just be feeling like I'm still almost afraid of what's just happened and then like it's just like a very fragile place to be so I feel like person b is kind of in a fragile mindset um where they're kind of in this energy of realizing that um people aren't always like who they say they are I feel like person b has had the rug ripped from underneath them and they are now like looking at everything through another lens because they're almost it's harder for them to trust now but I feel like this is someone who originally was more trusting but with the eight of wands here I feel like this person does want to shift out of this energy so I feel like the biggest this person is still very much reminiscing with the five of cups they're still processing something and they're still kind of like I'm getting this energy of like you know when you can't kind of get someone's like if someone kind of like persecuted you you know like and I'm talking like the drama triangle, you know, persecutor, victim, rescuer. Like, I feel like this person has gotten caught up in some kind of a drama, but I feel like it's all come tumbling down. But it's almost like this person that they may have been dealing with, it's like their words or like what happened with them is still river braiding in like their mind. And so their thoughts are still related to this past thing, but not in a way where they're like, oh, I, I like miss that person. It's almost like fear of that and just like, it's the tower is very jarring. It's like, I feel like this person has, has had a jarring um, sort of situation happen. Um, and yeah, and with the five of swords, it can be a sense of defeat. And so I feel like person B is honestly like, like they're just trying to get on their feet. But with the eight of wands here, what this is really telling me is that the, I think they're thinking towards person A. I think that they really do want to shift out of this energy. I think they do want to move forward. And I feel like they do feel like a burst of optimism or a burst of um, movement within maybe a more heavy energy that they've been in. And I feel like that has to do with person A. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get a sip of my tea. But we'll get a fuller picture with feelings as well. So let's go into person A's feelings. How is person A currently feeling? Okay, how is person A currently feeling towards person B? The Knight of Swords. We have the Hermit. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Then the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. Okay. Let's now see person B's um, current feelings towards person A. It feels like person A has had a focus on self, like with the Nine of Cups and the Hermit here. Um, 
And I'm not surprised at the high priestess. There's kind of an energy for person A of keeping to themselves a bit or, you know, just being a little bit careful with their energy. Um, you know, even if they do have a crush or they, they are optimistic, there's kind of an energy of... Um, I'm, I'm getting with the Knight of Swords. There's a feeling here of like, if there's any like sign of immature... Yeah, look at this. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Page of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse. There's kind of an energy here of like maybe person A kind of expecting person B maybe to be like a... Like they're prepared for person B to be like a player or someone that, um, you know, th they're prepared based on their past, I think to run in the other direction. Like as soon as they feel like they have any reason to doubt like person B or feel like they are like running an agenda or running a game, like there's just kind of a sense here of like person B or person A just like not feeling sure yet with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, it's like they know what they want. They know what their own, they're, they're, they feel really solid within their own energy. Yeah. And so with the Eight of Wands here, it's so interesting because it feels like person A is like more stabilized in their own energy. Um, whereas person B, it feels like they're like in flux and they're, it's like the eight of wands for me is here because it's like, they're, if anything, trying to shift out of the energy that they're in. I feel like person A is trying to stay in the energy that they've rooted themselves in. And so the eight of wands in reverse is like, well, I'm, even though I feel this way, I'm not going to let it like bring me out of my energy. Um, because I like, like where I've grounded myself is what I'm getting. Okay, so how is person B currently feeling? We have the Page of Cups in reverse or the Princess of Cups. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like person B is feeling like they have been naive i feel like person b has been deceived in some kind of way and i feel like they were dealing with like a i'm hearing uns unscrumpulous uns unscrumpulous i can't even say that but i'm seeing the word written um a person that just like really maybe hurt them or i just there's an energy coming through from person b that they have let themselves like they've had the wool pulled over their eyes. They've had rose tinted glasses on is what I'm getting um, in general. But let me, let me see. So how is person B? And I definitely feel like this is more of like a beginning stage of a relationship. Um, And if you guys like, I would imagine, actually, you guys could be in either of these energies. I'm not sure. But um, for person A, I feel like there's kind of a vibe of like, I am open to a good match for me in life but I'm willing to kind of like wait for that maybe like to come to me or like I'm not going to jump into anything um and get super involved with someone like I'm I'm stabilized enough in myself I'm not going to do that like I feel like for person b I'm seeing someone a little bit kind of sloshing around in like uh like a riptide and they're kind of learning this lesson here where they they've learned that like they need to be more discerning or they they can't just trust everyone and they're dealing with grief they want to get out of it though it's like they're looking for a lifeline right now um yeah let's get one more for how person b is feeling we have the four of swords in reverse yeah there's definitely so i feel like this person's stability has been rocked six of cups in reverse yeah so person b 100 percent is dealing with some sort of like heavy like energetic event or or a karmic situation um they may feel like person a is like more independent than them or like they may be feeling like they need to establish this like nine of pentacles kind of an energy within themselves there's kind of an energy coming through from person b that they're not feeling super like confident in themselves or like I feel like they're in this stage and I feel like a lot of us will understand it, but it's like when you've been like lied to or like you've had like a tower moment in a situation, you can really start like doubting yourself and like doubting your ability to make decisions. And I feel like this person is just in this energy of like kind of doubting their self-worth or like struggling with their self-worth, um, just feeling kind of foolish and feeling like they 
they're kind of low in their energy and, and they they need to find their stability right now. Um, and so I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like it does really feel like person B, like, I think that they may, they may be afraid that person A is like too good for them. Um, but I have to say I'm, and, and we'll get into this with the extended. So I feel like for the extended reading, um, Hmm. I, what do I want to go into? Because I feel like I definitely want to see more. I want to see the future of the connection. That's what I did for pile number two. And I like doing that. Um, so we'll be looking at the future of the connection in like three months from now, just to see like where you're at with this person. Um, and especially to see that person B's transformation, because I feel like they're changing their energy pretty quickly. Um, and I feel like the core of who person B is is not like a bad person. And I'm not also not getting an energy where it's like this person wants to like take advantage of someone while they're low. Like I'm not getting that. I'm more just getting that they circumstantially have been like effed over and they're learning like a hard lesson right now. And they're dealing with like difficulties with self-esteem and maybe person A, that's something person A has already like dealt with before. Um, and so I definitely think like person A's worst, con like maybe bi biggest concern might be something similar to like having someone not be who they say they are or having someone who's just going to be like a taker or something like that. And, or someone like a player. And I feel like person B is not a player or they're not in that energy. Um, but they definitely need to find their footing and they're coming from a place of like lower self-esteem, I think, than person A. Um, but I feel like the things that person A might find threatening about a person, it, it's not person B, but it's just, I, in my mind, it's already just going to be a matter of whether or not person A is like attracted to person B and whether or not them dealing with this is something that's just like causing them to not be great in a relationship, but that's not coming through yet because all I'm getting is each other's thoughts and feelings, but let's do that. Um, I want to look. I definitely want to get guidance for both people about what's like best for them to focus on right now. Guidance on this connection. Um, and we'll see what else we'll go into for the extended. But um, for now, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see now what um, person A is wanting at this current moment. This is timeless, but at the moment you're watching this, what does person A want when it comes to person B? Like, what are they desiring? Yeah, and I feel like I didn't go fully into person A, but it's like person A, like, definitely feels like they aren't sure yet about person B. Um, they are sure of what they want, though. And they are willing, they've gone within, like, they're tuned in with themselves. Um, enough to be sure of what they don't want is what I'm kind of getting. And, like, but they are a little bit, they are, like, open they're still in touch with their heart because the page of cups is here in the sun in their inner child. Like, I feel like this person has a really strong inner child, but they've matured and it just feels like, although they have a strong inner child, um, they also have like wisdom to them. Like there's more naivete on this side and like a lesson being learned. There's more solid growth on person A's side, but I am getting that person A maybe is learning to like open back up and like trust again or learning to... Yeah, like let their inner child be seen by another person as well. And like, I feel like person B does have a really strong inner child, but it's just almost like they're self, like I just think they've been like played or something like that. Um, okay, for person A, what does person A currently want? All right, we have the five of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles. We have the knight of cups in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Three of swords in reverse. Interesting. So there is a little bit of like a healer vibe coming through for person A. I kind of feel like. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so for some, I'm wondering if person A is a little bit lonely right now. That's a question that I have if you guys are person A. Um, because there's kind of a feeling here of like, even if person A has learned a solid amount of lessons and has grown in wisdom they may be feeling a little bit isolated and like lonely in a sense and so if, if they see person b struggling which maybe they already know something about that or like 
they might just have like an intuition about it with the high priestess. Um, I feel like person A like is a generous person. Um, with the Knight of Cups, I'm gonna have to clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse, but like the themes coming through here is an energy around with the Knight of Cups in reverse, I'm getting someone that moves too much with their heart. Like I feel like person A and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for me is like either someone that's hyper independent and maybe pushing intimacy away or it's someone. And I'm getting for this person that I think they've been a Nine of Pentacles in reverse, not in the hyper independent way, in the way that they maybe were prone to like codependency or maybe they doubted their value. And so they just kind of doubted their like ability in life and maybe they let like people tell them what to do with the queen of swords in reverse or they maybe doubted their own judgment throughout their life and they may have had people kind of like walk all over them because of lacking that sense of like self-esteem or like self-efficacy in a way um i'm gonna need more information here but the three of swords in reverse the devil two of cups two of wands I do feel like person A does want to support person B. Why is the Knight of Cups here in reverse for what they want? We have the Two of Cups in reverse. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Seven of Cups. Okay, maybe person A knows that person B has gone through some kind of a breakup. Um, can we get the, why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Ten of Swords. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? With the Devil, okay. I'm really get yeah, Three of Pentacles. I'm really getting that person A has sympathy and empathy for person B and what they've gone through. Because with the Ten of Swords here, they may have had some like really difficult ending. I'm really getting that person A, it feels like person A is kind of focused on person B's story. And I definitely think that person A wants to show generosity to person B because they have some kind of an empathy. Maybe they've gone through something similar. Um, but it feels like person B trusted the wrong person and maybe they had someone who like leached onto them. But like with the seven of cups, I feel like there was some kind of fantasy or, or illusion where person B's vulnerabilities were used against them. And it's like some kind of love situation that wasn't really genuine, but I'm just, I'm a little bit confused why I'm getting so much of a focus for person B. Um, so I might just want to ask spirit. It's like person A gets this like energy, like of, of, um, the aftermath of maybe dealing with like a toxic relationship or a codependent relationship. I just think person A gets that for some reason. Um, okay. And I'm also feeling called to tell you guys, if you guys feel like you're either one of these people and like, you maybe just met this person or you're just about to meet this person. Um, so this could be a future energy for some of you. For some reason, I'm getting that. But if it is resonating and you want future readings to resonate more specifically with you, I really do ask to hone in on the energies that are um, interacting with me the most on my channel. I ask spirit to tune me into that collective. So um, through liking the video and commenting and making sure you're subscribed are all ways that... Um, I'm better able to tune into your energy. And I definitely want to focus more on those people that are more involved, I guess, in my channel and the community. So thank you for doing that. Also supports the channel. All right. So what does person B currently want when it comes to person A? We have the magician in reverse. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands. This person's really struggling with their confidence, you guys. They're definitely closing out a chapter. Um, person B, it's like, I, there's an energy here of 
person B does really wants to grow something in an organic way. Like with the seven of pentacles here and the next, the magician in reverse, like it's just giving me this energy of, um, learning to be more careful because I feel like this person maybe dealt with the magician in reverse, or maybe they like, maybe there were red flags in a, in a situation that they had been a part of. Um, but they maybe like were so, you know, into the person or into the fantasy of what could be that they, you know, they, they may have, um, tried to tell themselves that there was enough content or that there was a solid foundation when there really wasn't with a certain, per this queen of swords in reverse, you guys, I need to get more information about this. You know, for the extended, I really, for person B, I want to ask why person A is in this desire energy, but I guess you guys would know if you're person A. I, I guess you guys would already know that, so maybe I don't have to go to that, but for person B, I really want to ask, like, maybe a little bit more about what happened um, and what their journey, what the journey ahead for this relationship is going to be, because what I'm picking up on is you know, a relation, a potential relationship where person B is like vulnerable, but they've definitely learned some hard lessons. I feel like they've had to walk away from a really tough situation um, that didn't amount. I feel like they invested a lot in something and it didn't amount to what they invested in it. Like, and so with the seven of pentacles, what they want is they really want to build something that is going to grow into something that's fruitful and abundant um because i feel like this the last thing this person person b wants to go through again is a situation this person has fears of the same thing happening or it's almost like person b is doubting their ability to form a healthy relationship and they're blaming themselves and it's kind of sad because there's this heavy energy of like almost blaming themselves for their judgment or like not seeing it sooner or something but um yeah. So with the six of wands in reverse, though, I feel like this person, like their biggest fear is just like this, this really knocked their confidence, whatever like loss or like non victory, I would say that they went through, um, that they had to walk away from, like is still really weighing heavy on them. And I feel like with the six of swords in reverse, they are carrying a lot of baggage, um, with them right now that's hurting their confidence. And so it's like, I think this person probably would want to make sure that there's something solid. Um, and like the world card is here because I feel like they're closing out a cycle and it's like, they want to make sure that this next cycle that they go on is one that ends in the world upright, which is like success. Um, Yeah, so I guess like to be continued, like this is what I'm seeing for right now. I definitely think this is an in development kind of a relationship. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's this energy of person A, like knowing that person B got caught up in like a Knight of Cups situation reverse or like they, you know, were too much in their emotion, not in their head. And that might be why it's reverse. It's like too heavy in the water element. And it's like, I just think there was a lot of illusion and I think like person B may, maybe like lost themselves in like a toxic situation. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take it into the extended. So I want to start off by digging a little bit deeper into person B's tower moment with this queen of swords. So I'm actually going to take these out because I want to ask about these. Um, then we'll be looking at where the connection is headed most likely in the next three months or so. And then we're going to delve into getting some guidance for each person. Cause I feel like each person could use some guidance in the situation, especially person B, but I am curious what the guidance is for person A, like whether or not spirit is like supporting this connection. I kind of want to ask spirit about that. Like what is, what is person number A's number? Why am I saying that person A's, um, spirit team? Like what do they think about getting involved in person B's life? Um, yeah. Okay. But I do feel like just like on person B side, there's a lot of um, self doubt and like, like there's a potential for person B to self sabotage right now. Um, okay. So 
If you guys are interested in that, I will have it linked in the description box. But other than that, um, if it resonated, give the video a like, a comment, make sure you're subscribed. I really appreciate your guys' time. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I hope to connect with you again soon.